down isn't like so bad because you're going down the stairs, but carrying that little 35 pound sack of potatoes is tough, but going up the stairs is even worse. Ready to explore Barcelona. You ready, Tata? Yeah. You ready, Mika? <laughs> All right, let's go. to La Sagrada Familia and a little perk because we were traveling with a stroller we got to skip a huge line and just come in through the elevator which is really cool so I'm gonna show you guys it's really beautiful So one of my followers on my Instagram asked me how is it that we travel with children and I'm not gonna lie the truth is it's not easy um, it's not very relaxing okay, but it's either you do it and learn little tricks and things or you don't get to travel at all until they're adults which is like 20 years um, so we actually have been to a few different places with our kids Mika's of course been to more since it's older and get an agua okay which one so number one tip the best vacation mm -hmm. <laughs> the best vacation in my opinion for families are all-inclusive resorts like Cancun, the Dominican Republic, and since we live in Florida, Cancun is like just a one-hour flight away. Um, and you just hop in a cab from the airport to the resort and everything is done for you. Like there's plenty of activities for kids, food already prepared throughout the day, and parents get to relax, kids get to have fun and play. So that's by far like the easiest vacation for us. But of course, sometimes we do want to go to other places like Spain. Um, so some tricks and tips that we have for traveling with children. Yeah. One is um, if we're gonna fly a long distance, we like to pick flights that are at night. The kids are active throughout the day and when it's time for their bedtime it'll be time for the flight so they can sleep throughout the entire flight so for instance this flight here to Spain was eight hours from Chicago and they slept for a good portion of the flight because it was their nighttime bedtime next tip we always like to stay at an Airbnb reason number one we always like to have an authentic experience of where we're staying but also with children you need to have a kitchen where we're staying because um, we always end up preparing breakfast and snacks and everything for the kids while we're there. So when selecting your Airbnb, make sure that you find a place that's somewhere in like a city where there's market. All right, so my battery died when I was at the grocery store. So I guess I'll add that in as a rule for traveling with kids. Bring an extra camera battery if you plan on recording and taking cool pictures. But anywho, from the grocery store, we just came straight back to the Airbnb. And the whole purpose of, of me recording while at the grocery store was to say that we always get an Airbnb so that we can have a kitchen, a home, 
to cook for the kids and prepare their meals because especially if you're in a country they've never been to and you have little ones, it can be pretty difficult with getting the type of food that they like and getting them at the times that they like. You know, children are of course very needy, very demanding. So we always get an Airbnb so that we can have a kitchen and also so that the kids can just have room to, you know, just run around and be themselves when we're not exploring because we've made the mistake of traveling and staying in hotel rooms. And after like two days, all the whole family in a little hotel room, the kids were just going nuts because it was just a whole family in a tiny little room, no kitchen, and just not spacious at all. So um, we love getting Airbnbs. So right now I am making them some pasta, chicken breast, with some pasta and broccoli. Dinner time! Mika, come sit. What, Auntie? It's the restaurant. Like, I love to do. Alright, so the kids are now asleep. So, Bata is gonna head downstairs, outside, to buy a bottle of wine, bring it back up. Um, so we can have a glass before we go to bed since the kids are asleep but it's like 11 p.m. and look at how live it is right now in this little neighborhood like going all the way down the strip there's just tons of people like eating outside, having drinks, walking around. It's like 11 p.m. and it's like 11 in the afternoon for them. I love it, love, love, love it. People are downstairs eating. Anywho, um, good night. Well, goodbye. Uh, that's it for this video. We will be recording and posting more tomorrow. It is our last full day here in Barcelona tomorrow and then we're heading out and proceeding to our next country in Europe on Friday so if you guys have any more tips on traveling with children please leave some in the comments I'd love to hear more um, anything to make our traveling easier and uh, I'll share some more if I can think of some more along the way Bye.